What am I doing drinking the tea at the beginning of the show? I think I'm supposed to drink it at the end. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Today we're gonna scape this scape. What's that? <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna scape this shallow tank, a nano tank, 30 liter tank. Stay with us. Scape. I blame it on the stars. I blame it. Many of you guys have asked us to scape a shallow tank for you, so here we are, and it's also a nano tank, which is good for beginners. First of all, this is a 60 by 30 by 16 OptiWhite tank. I think the Filter Smart 60 would be enough for it, but I'm not very happy about uh, using the 60. I would use Filter Smart 100, but Attila from Green Aqua, one of my business partners, told me that that this would be enough for it. Told me that. Told me that. We're gonna have obviously glass in and outflows. Do a small diffuser for that. So Filter Smart, but it's filled with Seachem Matrix biological filter media because we think that the uh, matrix is much more efficient than the filter media that comes with this uh, Oasa Filter Smart filter. Don't let this go to Whatever I'm gonna put into the shopping basket, I'm gonna show it to you guys so that you will have the end price of this whole setup because many of you have requested us to give you an approximate price. We're gonna have an Eheim Skin 350 in this tank. We're gonna have the Tropica soil and we're gonna have some ADA Amazonia soil on top. And we're gonna have the Twin Star Light. The E Series Twin Star is a little bit stronger than the regular. But first, I'm gonna put in the JBL Aquapad here. The uneven surface of any table or any cabinet would probably hurt it. Don't let this go to okay, I'm gonna get rid of the tea. And I'm gonna start working by putting in the Tropica substrate. You don't need to put in more than one centimeter of substrate in the tank. The ADA Scent Flatterner. I don't want that to be visible along the front glass. The base layer fertilizing substrate is the substrate that is rich in nutrients and all the plant roots will get into that and will take the nutrients from it. It's very important that you cover this substrate so you're not allowed to have this in contact with the water because if you have that you will have algae and a lot of organic material will be leached into the water. The ADA Aquasoid Amazonia. Pour it on top by having the first part used in the front. A total of six liters of Amazonia will go into the tank, not more. I always say, and you guys have to know that I'm using the graduation towards the back because I would love the scape to be really visible, nicely visible, and to have some perspective. Oh yeah. In the meantime, I'm gonna start calculating. You can visit the Green Aqua website, greenaqua.com, and you can just throw everything in there and just calculate the prices. This is why it's a good idea to have standard size aquariums because you can fit standard size lights. This amount of chemicals in the tank would not hurt anything. And what about the others? What about the others? What others? You want me to clean all the glasses now? Are we having a scaping session or are we having a cleaning session? Are you happy now? Yeah. I think we're ready. Let's go with the hardscape. Thank you. The height of the whole thing will not go above like 14, maximum 15 centimeters. We'll try to place the rocks now. Some pebbles from the hardscape dojo. What I'm trying to do here is to have close to parallel lines. I'm just basically throwing them in, doing nothing else with it, and hoping for the best. I'm trying to have a continuous line starting from the left corner of the tank, leading up to the right corner. Because if I would have something big here, that would probably hide 
all the technology from sites, which would be wonderful. And I'm going to have the triangle composition like this. Trying to place smaller rocks in the background to add some perspective to the whole scape. Filter unboxing. Filter Smart 60. You've got the ceramic rings. This is not very efficient, so I would not recommend you to use it, and I would recommend you to use Sika Matrix instead. You need to open these two sides, push it all the way to the open position, and then you can just take down the bottom of the filter. I'm gonna fill the canister with Sika Matrix. Place this in with the matrix in it. No, not really. I'm gonna cut this to make it a lot shorter so that I can fit the matrix at the bottom of this canister. So the whole idea is to have as much biological filter media in the filter as possible. And I explained this to you in our episode that is about filtration. So if you didn't see that, please check it out. I'm gonna cut this as well and then place it underneath it in a way that it, it turns the hose in 90 degrees. Perfect. Do it yourself topic at Green Aqua. The first step of the filtration will be the fine filter mesh, which will clog probably pretty soon, but no problem then. We're just gonna take it out and replace it with a new one. self-made DIY close this and we're ready with the pressure side I think for the suction side we're gonna use the appliance that was provided with the filter did I tell you that I hate DIY So we've got the filter ready. Ah, we don't need this. Fail to smart. It's only 60 euros. Well, I know you can get cheaper external filters like that, but uh, don't forget that this is a good quality OASA filter. Decided to go with uh, four kinds of plants, Hemianthus calicicoides cuba. If you don't trim it, it's gonna be a thick carpet and it's gonna pull itself out because the roots are really uh, short. Two Eleocaris pusilla pots, which is the Eleocaris mini. Hiding the lily pipes will be the Rotala HRR, and I got that from Felipe's tank. Sorry, Felipe. Mirophilum Guyana, and I got about one pot from Uris's tank. And these two stem plants are uptaking nutrients a little bit better, so they're gonna help us cycle the tank. As a rule of thumb, I explained that in the planting video, I would say that one pot of this would be enough for one palm size. So right now I'm probably planting twice as densely as normal. Danele Elokaris Pusilla. I've decided to use these in the background in the middle. I'm gonna use four of these because I want to plant densely in the background as well. Four plus 11, 15 plus two. 17, 18. So a total of 18 pots of plants. Beautiful Rotala HRR. And these will close the two sides and some tips will be visible above the rocks. I'm gonna go with the Guyana, which is also a really nice stem plant and I'm gonna add it here towards the middle.
For the CO2 system, I'm going to use the Tropica Plant Growth System Nano. And what I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do this, I'm gonna add this Dua beautiful diffuser. So we've got the skimmer here, Beheim skim. You need to keep your surface clean. If you don't do that, you will have surface come, which will obstruct the gas exchange on the top. So there's a little bit of game here with the technology. The idea is to have the pump just a little bit lower than the surface level of the tank, and this would fit it perfectly. I'm gonna look at the cart and tell you that the total is 771 euros, <laughs> okay? So not, not a low budget tank. You don't have to spend this much money. You do have to buy certain things in order to achieve this look. You need to buy the light, you need to buy the OptiWhite glass, you need to buy the filter, rocks, soil, etc., etc. You can save some money on the soil maybe, buy some cheaper soil if you can, or save some money on the plants, etc., etc. Creating nature is the ultimate luxury, as Mr. Takashi Amano said. Please don't comment about money, I hate that. I'm not gonna answer. You, if, if there's money in the comment, I'm gonna skip it. I'm serious. The system itself has the CO2 bottle. There's a pressure reducer that comes with it. You have to make sure that the sealing ring, the rubber ring is inside the pressure reducer. So we're gonna change this into this, this fight. Chubby tells me that I should place it behind this rock and what I'm saying is that if it costs this much, you gotta have it visible. I'm gonna place it here and you will see the top of it. Okay, so we've got the CO2, we've got the filter, we've got it planted, and we have everything. I could probably just keep on filling this up with this one. I just gotta pump it. So I'm filling the tank through the skimmer with a sprayer. How cool is that? better if I would use some seek and purigen, this fella right here, to clean the water of the tank in the long run. So it would be probably better to have some chemical cleaning kind of stuff that would not take out the nutrients. I would just get rid of one compartment of filter media and just use this bag of purigen. Top, before I flood the studio. Let's see where it takes us. It works! Some air still needs to get out of it. And I actually think that the clarity of the surface is more important with the shallow tanks because you're gonna look at those tanks from the top a lot more. So having a skimmer is imperative. I'm gonna put some fine filter floss in the skimmer to have the skimmer flow restricted a little bit. If you like this cape, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. And if you'd like to subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Until next week, take care, bye. I blame it on the stars.